This section is titled Intune Hybrid. In this section, we learn about the integration of Configuration Manager and Microsoft Intune to create a hybrid Intune environment. We'll discuss and demonstrate how to manage the various types of mobile devices. And finally, we'll have a look at some of the more advanced hybrid features. This video is titled Integrating Configuration Manager with Microsoft Intune. Here's the agenda for this video. This is our first discussion about Microsoft Cloud Services in this course. We learn about Microsoft Intune and the various user identity options that can be used in conjunction with Intune. We'll discuss preparing our Active Directory and Config Manager environments in advance of the integration. And then we'll integrate by adding an Intune subscription in the Config Manager console. So let's begin. Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based device management solution. It can be deployed in a standalone or hybrid configuration. Intune standalone means that mobile device management is carried out using a cloud portal. A hybrid solution involves integrating Intune and Config Manager, enabling management of your mobile and on-premise devices using the Config Manager console. Unfortunately, there is no easy answer as to which approach is better. The best solution and the one you should use is the one that is best for your organization. Intune provides many features, including the following. Secure management of personal and corporate-owned devices across popular mobile platforms. Self-enrollment of devices. Hardware and software inventory. Mobile device configuration. For example, Wi-Fi profiles, email profiles, certificates and VPNs. Mobile application management or MAM policies, including integration with Office mobile apps. Application deployment and conditional access, which prevents access to email and other services on devices that are not enrolled with Microsoft Intune. The Enterprise Mobility Suite is a licensing bundle consisting of the following products. Azure Active Directory Premium, to enable user identity management. Microsoft Intune, to provide mobile device and application management. Azure Rights Management Services, to enable data protection and Advanced Threat Analytics to provide breach and threat identification. Although this video is concerned with Intune, it's important to know about EMS and how it fits into the total solution. The classic Intune admin portal has now been discontinued and Intune management is available via the Azure portal. User accounts and groups are utilized to manage and secure access to corporate resources. Azure Active Directory is a comprehensive identity and access management solution and is leveraged by Microsoft for authentication to online services, including Intune and Office 365. Microsoft provides three user identity models. Each model presents varying levels of complexity, and it's important to choose the model that works best for your business. Cloud Identity. This model is not commonly used in an enterprise environment. It uses Azure AD to create and manage users. Passwords are verified by Azure AD and on-premise identity configuration is not required. This model is normally used in small organizations that do not have an on-premise Active Directory. Synchronized identity. In this model, user identity is managed on-premise using Active Directory. Selected user accounts and password hashes are synchronized to Azure Active Directory. Passwords are verified by Azure AD to provide a same sign-on experience. Azure AD Connect is the recommended tool to synchronize the user accounts and password hashes. And Federated Identity. The Federated Identity model requires that a synchronized identity model is already in place. However, in this case, the password hash is not synchronized to Azure AD, as passwords are verified by on-premise Active Directory to provide a single sign-on experience. This model typically uses Active Directory Federation Services, or ADFS, and is the most complex model to implement. Additional network and server infrastructure is required to achieve high availability. I've used the synchronized identity model in my lab using Azure AD Connect. This configuration is outside the scope of this course, but let's have a high-level look at the required steps. These are the same steps you would carry out if you were configuring Office 365 for your organization. Add and verify a custom domain name with which your users are familiar and comfortable. You can do this in the Office 365 or Azure portals. It's optional but recommended that you create DNS records to insist with enrolling Windows devices. 
you would create a C name record for your domain that redirects enterprise enrollment s dot your domain dot com to manage dot microsoft dot com. Add your custom domain as a UPN suffix in the on premise Active Directory. This would be the same domain that you added and verified earlier and install Azure AD Connect on an on-premise server and configure it to synchronize your user OUs. And this is the Azure portal. So if I click on Azure Active Directory and we click on the domain names and we can see emslab.ie. This is the domain that I added and verified earlier. This is my domain controller and this is Active Directory Domains and Trusts. I've added a UPN suffix to match the domain that I already added in Azure. And in Active Directory Users and Computers, I've changed the UPN for my user accounts to match the same domain. With the on-premise and cloud environments prepared and the on-premise user accounts synchronized with Azure AD, you can now integrate Microsoft Intune with Config Manager. This is achieved by adding an Intune subscription in the Config Manager console. There are a few little tasks to perform first. Uh, first one, Config Manager does not discover Active Directory users by default. Um, Active Directory user discovery must be enabled, so let's do that now. Follow these steps to enable Active Directory user discovery. In the console, navigate to Administration, Hierarchy, Discovery Methods, Active Directory user discovery and check the box to enable the discovery and click on the yellow starburst to add the organizational units that contain the users that you want to discover. You should create a user collection in advance of adding a Microsoft Intune subscription. You will be prompted to select this collection when adding the subscription. Users that will be entitled to enroll devices for management should be added to the collection. The service connection point is normally added during Config Manager installation. If you skip this step during installation, you must add the role now. The Microsoft Intune subscription allows you to specify your configuration settings for the Microsoft Intune service. This includes specifying which collection of users can enroll their devices and defining the mobile device platforms to manage. You can also customize the look and feel of the Intune company portal by adding contact information and branding with a company logo. Now we'll add the Intune subscription. So in the console, navigate to Administration, Cloud Services, Microsoft Intune subscription and right click and choose to add a Microsoft Intune subscription. So read the information which tells us what we need to get started. For example, we'll need an Intune organizational account and password and perhaps an APN certificate to manage iOS devices. And now we're told to sign in to Microsoft Intune. So click sign in and I have an Intune organization account. So I'll just enter the details and sign in. When the authentication is verified, sign in is now grayed out. So we'll continue with the wizard. Now we'll browse to the collection that we created earlier. Members of this collection will be entitled to enroll devices. I've called it Intune Users. Uh, we can give a company name. Let's call it Pact. We can choose a color scheme, which will be seen in the company, company portal. So let's highlight that we'll um, choose orange and choose our configuration site code. Uh, we can select the maximum number of devices a user can enroll. So it's anything from 15 to 1. We leave it at 15 for now. We can further customize the company portal with contact name. Um, we can have a phone number, email address, uh, company support, um, website, website name. But we continue for now. We can include a company logo if we like. We can add some device enrollment managers. This is what you would use in the situation for enrolling corporate devices. We're not going to enable multi-factor authentication. And next, to create the subscription. The subscription has now been created. 
uh, we will further configure it to manage mobile devices in uh, later videos.